there are two changes that we can make to a light source that is resulting in the photoelectric effect. The first one is that we can change the frequency of the light source. And we know that for the photoelectric effect, we see light as a stream of particles called photons. We know that we can determine the energy of a photon by taking the product of Planck's constant and the frequency of that light source. And we know that every single metal has something called a work function which is the minimum energy required to eject an electron from that surface. And that work function corresponds to something called a threshold frequency. So we know that by changing the frequency of a light source until we get a frequency that exceeds the threshold frequency, at which point electrons are able to absorb a single photon, which gives them enough energy to escape and become a photoelectron. Thereafter, if we continue to increase the frequency, we would add more kinetic energy to those photoelectrons. So the first change we can make to a light source is by changing the frequency. The second change that we can make is to change the intensity. So we see intensity as brightness in light. We say that a very bright light has a very high intensity or a high luminous intensity. And what that is scientifically is increasing the number of photons striking an area per second. So instead of there being 10 photons striking an area per second, if we increase the intensity, we could now have 30 photons striking an area per second. So now what we can see here is that this has not changed the energy of an individual photon. The energy of a photon is only ever related to the frequency of that light source. What we have changed, though, is the number of photons that are striking a surface, which means we have changed the number of photons that can be absorbed by electrons. And if the energy of that photon exceeds the work function, what that does is it increases the number of photoelectrons. Because there are more photons striking the surface per second, there are now going to be more photoelectrons leaving the surface. So it's very important to see here that a frequency change affects only the energy of a photoelectron. Whether or not it has enough energy to escape, once it can escape, how much kinetic energy it has. Whereas an intensity change affects only the number of photoelectrons. If the photon energy is greater than the work function, then increasing the intensity will increase the number of photoelectrons that are ejected Per second. We also know that different colors of light have different wavelengths and therefore frequencies. So often instead of talking about a frequency change, we will refer to a color change. And then it is important to know that red light with the longest wavelength has the shortest or lowest frequency and blue light with the shortest wavelength has the highest frequency. Basically saying blue light has more energy. Since blue light has more energy, that means it is more likely to eject photoelectrons. And once more, that energy has nothing to do with the intensity of the light. The intensity only affects the number of photoelectrons that can be ejected.